Bradley Cooper talks to Georgetown University President John J. DeGioia. Georgetown University, by Sarah Polis Sarah Polis reporter and editorial aide for reliable source email bio follows September 12 at 1.37 p.m. We've been waiting outside since 2 p. M. Alexandra Kimball said. We've been doing shifts and bringing each other food and water. The sophomore accounting major and her basketball teammate Sari Curitan, a fellow sophomore studying international politics, joined the throng of Georgetown University students that waited hours in line Tuesday night in the hope of napping a ticket to see Oscar-nominated actor Bradley Cooper speak on campus. Students line up in hopes of securing a ticket to see actor Bradley Cooper speak on campus. Georgetown University, inside Healy Hall, the air was filled with anticipation and excitement from those who were lucky enough to secure a spot. I have to text my mom, one girl squealed. My friend who doesn't even go to Georgetown texted me about this, her friend chimed in. A voice over the loudspeaker began an introduction, and the room erupted with cheers, only to temporarily turn into a chorus of disappointed audience as they realized the person taking the stage wasn't Cooper. Students laughed and clapped again when they recognized the figure as their university president, John Jay. Dijaya. Shortly after, the man of the hour appeared to wild applause. When prompted by DeJoya to share some of the most formative moments from his time at Georgetown, Cooper, a 97 alum joked, I can't really talk about all of them. Cooper explained how the competitive nature of Georgetown set him up for his successful career as a Hollywood leading man and now as a director. A Star is Born, Cooper's directorial debut, in which he stars alongside Lady Gaga, will be released October. 5. The biggest lesson I learned trying to get into this school was never give up, Cooper said of his laborious transfer process from Villanova University. While he always dreamed of being a film director, he was afraid to admit that desire out loud and felt that actor seemed like a more realistic goal to share with people. Just as many told him he would never get into Georgetown, multiple colleagues warned Cooper not to make A Star is Born, a third remake of the original 1937 film, as his first directorial outing. I just sort of kept my head down and stayed focused the way I did when I wanted to come to this university," Cooper said about the process of making the film. It was exactly the same thing. That sentiment seemed to resonate with students who feel the inevitable pressure that comes from attending a prestigious university. Curitan said Cooper's advice to lighten up on yourself struck a chord with her. Especially here at Georgetown, I think a lot of people are super hard on themselves," she said, 